This question asks about formic acid, which has a pKa of 3.75. The question says, if we mix 0.5 moles of formic acid and 0.25 moles of sodium formate in 100 milliliters of water, what will be the resulting pH of the solution? The first thing to recognize is that we have a weak acid, formic acid, and its conjugate base, sodium formate. So sodium formate is HCOO minus and Na plus, but this sodium cation here is just a spectator ion, so we can ignore it. The next thing to check is whether or not we have a buffer. So we know we have a buffer when we have a weak conjugate acid in its conjugate base, which is what we have. They also need to be in similar concentrations, similar amounts in the solution, which we define as at least a 10 to 1 ratio. So here we have 0.5 moles of acid and 0.25 moles of its conjugate base. That's a 2 to 1 ratio, which is at least a 10 to 1 ratio, so this is indeed a buffer. So because of that, we're able to jump right to the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. Now we can just plug in our numbers. So our pKa is 3.75, and then we have our moles of conjugate base is 0.25, and our moles of conjugate acid is 0.5. You could also calculate concentrations and put them in here instead of the number of moles. However, since the volume is the same for both the conjugate base and the conjugate acid, 100 milliliters, the volumes are just going to cancel out. So it's only for a buffer that you're able to ignore these volumes though and just use moles. If we plug that into our calculators, we'll find that the pH is 3.45. And that is the resulting pH of this solution. There's also another way you could solve this problem. It takes a little bit longer, but it's equally valid, and it's similar to the way we've solved previous questions. So we could also use an ice table. If we were using an ice table, we'd start by writing out the reaction. So I'm going to write out formic acid, and if we put formic acid in water, then it would make formate anion, so that's our conjugate base here, and H3O+. So for our ice table, we have the reaction, initial, change, and equilibrium. I'm going to use concentrations in my ice table. So the concentration of acid is equal to 0 0.5 moles over 100 milliliters, which is 0 0.1 liters. So that is equal to 0 0.05 molar. The concentration of the base is equal to 0 0.25 moles per liter, which is equal to 0 0.025 molar. So our initial concentration of acid is 0 0.05 molar, and our initial concentration of formate is 0 0.025 molar. Because these are weak acids and weak bases, the change is only going to be a little bit. They're only going to dissociate a little bit in water. So I'm going to say our change is minus x over here, which of course means on the other side we need plus x and plus x. I'm going to estimate that the H3O concentration starts at zero. So at equilibrium, we have 0 0.050 molar minus x, and here we have 0 0.025 molar plus x, and our concentration of H0 plus is x. So we now need to write out our Ka equation. So we have our Ka is equal to the concentration of our conjugate base multiplied by H3O plus over the concentration of formic acid. I'm going to assume that x is small so that 0 0.05 minus x is around 0 0.05, and 0 0.025 plus x is around 0 0.025, so they're roughly equivalent because x is so small. Plugging those values into this equation here, we have that the concentration of HCOO minus is 0 0.025 molar, the concentration of h 0 plus is x, and the concentration of acid is 0 0.050 molar. Now we need to calculate our Ka. We know our pKa, and pKa is equal to the negative log of Ka, which in the question was given to us as 3.75, so our Ka is equal to 10 to the power of negative 3.75. So this is 10 to the power of negative 3.75. 0 0.025 over 0 0.05 is just 1 over 2, or 0 0.5, so here we have 10 to the negative 3.75, 
over 0 0.5 is equal to x, which is our concentration of H3O plus, as we can see in this table here. Now the question asked us for the pH, so we need to take the negative log of this. So our pH is equal to the negative log of the concentration of H3O plus, which is equal to the negative log of 10 to the negative 3.75 over 0 0.5. If we plug that into our calculator, we will find that the pH is 3.45. This is exactly as we calculated above here using the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. Any time that this assumption is valid, so any time that x is so small that we're able to make the assumption that our conjugate acid minus x and our conjugate base plus x are essentially just equal to those initial concentrations, the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation will be valid, but it's also equally valid to use an ice table. In the case where x was not sufficiently small, so where we found that x actually turned out to be quite big, so in this case, x, if you plug this into your calculator, you'd find that x is quite small. If it was big, so maybe more than 10% of our initial concentrations is what our change would be, then you could still solve this problem, but you couldn't use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. You'd have to use an ice table, and you'd need to solve it using the quadratic formula.